Sam from Toolhead here today. Today's project is we have a 2017 Ford Escape that's been in a front end collision. It's at a body shop and the body shop has replaced the cruise control module on the front bumper. Okay, so the body shop's only concern is the dash has an error that says collision worn not available. So this is where we're going to start. The first thing we need to do is we're going to need a scan tool. We're going to need to program the cruise control module. Uh, it's my understanding that either FJDS or IDS will perform this function. I am using the IDS to do this. You're also going to need a scan tool that will perform a CCM configuration. Um, again, I'm using the IDS. I'm not sure if any other scan tools will run this function. And then the next thing you're going to need is a straight road that you can drive for about 15 minutes above 30 miles an hour. The directions say it takes 5 to 15 minutes and I have had them take as long as 30 minutes. So be prepared. Uh, it's going to be a drive down a straight road and you have to maintain a miles per hour over 30 for the entire time or I believe the timer starts over. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open your IDS and we're going to start a new session. And we're going to allow the IDS to communicate with the vehicle and ID it for us. So we're going to start a new session, choose all other. And it is an escape. I'm sure a Kuga is something similar to it that's sold somewhere else in the, in the world. Never seen one but I'm sure they're pretty close to what we're working on here today. So so I guess if you're working on a Kuga, that you can follow the same procedure. So here's the ID of the vehicle. It's got 43,000 or so miles on it. The first thing I like to do is I like to read the codes, especially when I'm doing body shop stuff saves you a lot of trouble later on down the road uh, if you read the codes and know where what modules are communicating which ones aren't and since this one's just been completed well, this is kind of my post scan as well so you can see we have lots of modules on the vehicle and we've got lots of codes in the body control module um, mostly uh, lights type stuff and the fact that it was in a front end collision uh, and it had a body shop, I'm not overly concerned with these codes. Not knowing exactly what they've replaced on the vehicle, you kind of got to kind of just scroll through them, see what you got, and then I like to clear the codes and see what comes back. It's usually a pretty good indication of what you got to work on, but I always like to look through them and see what I'm working with. See if something stands out. It does have some snapshot data on it as well. Again, I'm not overly concerned about that because it's been in a collision. Uh, and the other thing I like to do is go down to the optional equipment modules and just look to see what did not communicate. Uh, just again, so I know which modules didn't communicate uh, and knowing that this does not have a trailer module on it. I'm not concerned with it. The modules that didn't respond, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be equipped with, but you have a module down there that's not responding that you know it's got uh, might be a good time to look at that first so we're clearing the codes we're going to reread them see what pops back here I use my screen recordings as a report, so if I ever need to go back and look at these again, I can use my screen screen recording software to do that. All 
right, so I'm going to scroll down. We're going to notice that the only module that popped back up with the code was the cruise control module, like U2100. So what I like to do is I like to use my service information and just look up this U2100 before I do anything. Let's see exactly what this code is. Um, it says the DTC sets when the CCM configuration has not been completed and essentially tells me that I need to record or reprogram the uh, module. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to Program Module Installation. I'm going to go to the Cruise Control Module. And we're going to program it. Ask me if the VIN's correct. The VIN is correct. I did verify it. Key off. I'm going to tell me to install the new module. It's already installed. Turn the key on. And it tells me that it was unable to get the original configuration data because the body shop had replaced the module before I got here. So I'm going to tell it that I want the as-built data automatically. I don't want to have to type in this stuff if I don't need to. So it, as built data was done automatically. It's going to configure it. This just takes a minute. This is real time. It says module configuration complete. Turn the key off. I turn the key off. The next thing we need to do is we need to go down to the electrical, go to cruise control, and do a CCM calibration. So it tells you you need to drive the vehicle 30 miles an hour, 50 kilometers for you metric people. Uh, make sure the engine's running in the ready state. Uh, so it tells me operations in progress. And as soon as it does this, you get a message on your screen. This is the ACC radar is aligning. I guess that's good information. This is the warning that needs to go away uh, to tell you that you're done. Notice that you're not going to get a ding, nothing that's going to come up and say that it's complete. So you got to kind of watch what's going on on the dash. Um, this particular vehicle, I'm driving on a on a side road or a I guess a main country road. Uh, it was easier than taking it down the expressway. So I'm just going to hit confirm here. Once the message is gone. You'll hit confirm. And then it goes back to this screen here. Uh, pretty much that's all there is to it. The biggest wait is waiting for that message to go away off the screen. I did read the codes again after it was completed uh, just to make sure that that code did go away. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more videos. And remember, Tool Hut has all of the diagnostics equipment that you need. The OE scan tools, multi-brand scan tools, scopes, J2534 interfaces, laptops, new and refurbished stable power supplies. Everything we sell comes with training and support.